tutorial time. Dance Game of Dance, Inspire the Liars. Uh, let us begin with the introduction, for it is where most songs start. <laughs> Okay, so there are two chords and two slight variations on a twiddly bit. For this part, we have an E-flat major 7 chord. Uh, so, 6th fret, bar 8, A major 7 shape. And your first lick. Uh, goes 15, 11 on your second string, and 14 on your third string. Next part goes 11, uh, not 11, 13 on your top string, and then we do that 15, 11 on your second string, so. And then we jump up to 17, 13, and then 15 on your second string, so. After that we do your E flat major seven again. Second riff is slightly different, it goes. Which is 15, 11, 14 again, just like the other one, only we carry on down to 12 on that third string. And then we jump up to 13 on your top string, and then 15 and 13 twice on your second string. So. And then we repeat exactly the same thing, only instead of your E flat major seven chord, we do a D minor 7 chord, which is 5th fret with an A minor 7 bar shape. And that's it for your intro. After that we have your uh, first lead part, which goes like this. Okay, 15 on 13, top string, and second string is your first part. Uh, second time we do a similar thing, and we skip out that second 13, so first one, second one, and then we jump to 15 on your third string, so. Then there's a little repeating lick, which I do 14, 15 on your third string, and then 18 on your second string. So the four times. So. And then. Which is 10 and 12, slide to 15. And then 13, 15 on your second string. And then 12 on your third string. So all together. And then you repeat that a few times, and then we're into your first tappy section, which goes like this. So this bit starts on 17 and 5 and 8 on your D string. So we tap the 17, pull off to 5, hammer on to 8, then do 17 and pull off to 5 again. And then this finger moves up to 19, and we tap and slide down to 17. So Then we do another pull off, another 5, 8. So. And finally we add on, which is 17, 8, and 7. So. And we do that two times. And then the next happy bit is more straightforward. We do 14, 
three and five on your third string. Four of those. And we move your left hand up two frets to a five and a seven, and one fret for your tappy hand. So we do 15, five, seven, 15, five, seven, and then keep that seven there. And with your tap, we do 15, 17, 19. So. Uh, and that is four times, I believe, through that whole section. It's quite long, that bit. Um, and there we go. Next bit. <laughs> Okay, so this bit is that E flat major seven chord again. Four strums. Three of those. And then your leg is 15, 13 on your top string, and then 11, 13, 15 on your second string. So. Your second chord is that E flat major seven again but we move that root note down to a C on your bottom string, which isn't really very good with that finger. So we just swap around a little bit. So you've got the E flat major seven over C. And riff the second time starts with that 11, 13, 15. And then we do 12, 14 on your second string, so. So it's E flat major seven with then the E flat major seven, but with your root changed to C with your second lick. And then we are on to the most difficult part of the song. This bit's a bugger, so pay attention. <laughs> Okay, so these chords are awkward as hell, but here we go. Your first one is, which is 10 on your A string. And then in sequence we go eight, seven, and 10. That is your first chord. Second chord uh, goes 13 on your D, 12 on your G, and 15 on your B. So. Next one is uh, 17 on your D, then 15, then 18, then 17 again. So we pick, so we pick D, G, E, B. So four, three, one, two. Um, and then your next chord is, 13, 12, 15, just like the one before the last one, only we add on 13 on your top string as well. We pick through that, so those two. Uh, all together, first one. So move that up. And then we have a little lick. Which is 12 and 15 on your D, and then we skip up to 13, 15. Two of those on your B. Uh, with slides, and then 15, 14 on your G. So. Um, from there. Now, your next one is that E flat major seven done several times only we need that eighth fret on the top string as well so what I do is I squish my little finger across to get those two notes uh, and we pick uh, so A D G E B and your next one is 10 on your A and then skip a string and then do 10 10 on your G and B and then eighth fret on your first string. 
So you got that one. Uh, next chord uh, is uh, 13, 13, 13 on your A string. Skip out your D, and then we go 12, 11, 10 on 3, 2, and 1. Next one. If you bar the 13th fret and then play 15 on your third string and pick up uh, D, G and E strings and then we need a little hammer on from 13 to 15 on your B string so so those two and then it is a B flat major 7 which is major 7 only up on 13th fret so yeah, that one that one's awkward uh, and then you go back through most of the rest of it again you go through the whole all that lot and um, all the tappy section again. Now we're on to your next part, which goes like this. Etc. Um, so this whole part's pretty much just that one chord. There's loads of other little bits going off, uh, but it feels quite cool to just ride out on that chord, which is basically a, a G minor. Uh, so with your A shape, up on the 10th fret and you can take those fingers off to go to there so uh, and then from there we're on to your next chords which ride out the rest of the song So these chords are your E flat major seven again. Um, now your next one is sort of based on F major, but we do eight uh, and seven. So fifth string eight, fourth string seven. Uh, skip out your G and then do ten on your B. So and then halfway through that bar, we move that one up to eleven. And you can get this finger on a 10 on your second string. So a bit of a stretchy one. Get that nice sort of sus4 type effect to it. So. And then from there we to a G minor, which uh, I like to do that inversion. It sounds quite nice. Saves so going up higher. Uh, so that's like your C inversion. So we have 10, 8, 7, Eight. And then if you can manage it, if you can bar this finger across to get the 6th fret on your top string. So it's like 6, bar across to 7 and get the 8s and the 10. Then you can put that higher note on if you want. Awkward to do, especially getting from uh, that card. <laughs> you know. So it's a bit awkward. Okay. Um, but if you can manage it, sounds cool. And after that, we end on a B flat major seven. So this one is five, six, seven, eight, with thumb coming over and playing that B flat on your bottom string. Uh, again, mute that string with the tip of your little finger. Uh, and that is pretty much it for this whole end section. So we strum them a few times like that. Interesting. It's more like it. Uh, str strum them a few times individually and then just ride it out. So.
and then finish on your E flat major seven. Uh, and there you have it. Inspire the liars. Don't think I missed anything. Again, I wrote it down, so I think <laughs> I think I've got it. And uh, I'll see you soon for another dose of tutorial time. Bye.